Good morning, my friends. For today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Hi, buddy. Who's that guy? <laughs> Somebody's camera shy. Today, rather than a recovery or any sort of crazy adventure, I'm just gonna show you my daily life. What like an average day looks like for me. Every single day. Right now, it's morning, just woke up, had breakfast. I uh, got the kids off to school, and first item of business for me is go work out. Hey, hey, come here, hey. Ooh, where you going, where you going? <laughs> We're off to the gym. All right, guys, day in the life of Diesel Dave. You ready? First things first, we wake up, it's a crack of dawn, and we go to the gym. We're ready to pick up my little brother and go to the gym. It's gonna be wild. Almost as wild as last night. And both my daughters decided to show up in my room and act like while well, a tornado, hurricane, storm came through, wreaking havoc, kicking my wife out of bed. I barely survived. Every 10 minutes, Piper would kick me in the face, wake me up, and I realize, hey man, you still got three hours to go. Anyway, I kind of did it. I just create some sort of app that a camera just turns on when your alarm goes off, right? Anyway, I need some pre workout. Get ready. We gotta get out of the door or we're gonna be late in this class. So today, I'm actually driving a different truck than normal. Normally I drive a uh, Raptor as my daily driver, believe it or not. A non-diesel vehicle, I know. What? Uh, but today, and for the next little while, I'm gonna be driving the diesel powered your giveaway truck, which is something that I'm like incredibly excited about. Look at this thing. This truck is like one of the coolest trucks we've ever built. We're off to the gym. And here comes the first debate of the day. Do I wake up all the neighbors and my wife and my girls by firing up the El Camino and take it to the gym or borrow the wife's Jeep? I think since uh, since the girls were such a tornado last night, we're gonna go ahead and take the Jeep. Whoa, unless it was locked, then we weren't taking nothing. Here you listen to this kitten purr. Get it. All right, guys, since I'm showing you my full daily routine, I feel like it's only right to show you like the whole shebang, including the supplements and some of like the uh, medications and stuff that I take. Here's the deal, before I get started, first of all, I gotta tell you, I'm not a doctor and this is not medical advice. This is just advice from a guy who has been there, done that, felt some symptoms and found a way to feel better. That's why the sponsor of today's video is something that I'm actually really excited about and I think it's actually probably one of the most important things I've ever talked about, Hone Health. Hone Health is a company that is designed to help men feel better with their hormones. What happens is as we get older, our hormone levels start to drop. Um, one of those key hormones is testosterone. So as you get older, you start having less energy, your sex drive goes down, uh, your appetite, all sorts of different things start happening as your testosterone levels start to decrease because our bodies stop making it. This is, this is part of getting older. Well, guess what? It doesn't have to be. And you can get your energy level back up. Remember how you felt when you were a teenager, early 20s, just feeling good, rip roaring all the time, to go to bed late, wake up early and still feel good? Well, those types of things are still possible if you get your testosterone and other hormone levels where they need to be. So Hone has developed this test. It's an at-home test that literally comes with everything you could need. Now, the reason why this is important is because in the past, in order to figure out what your hormone levels were, you had to go to your doctor, get a bunch of blood drawn, send it in, wait for the analysis. It's like four, five, six weeks waiting for a response. Hone said, nah, we're gonna make it easy. Literally, this test comes with everything you need to be able to process your blood work in uh, this is probably like 10 minutes. You open it up, you follow the instructions, and you grab this little finger prick tool they have. Basically, pop it right there, you get a couple uh, drops of blood, you put it on the test card that they give you, you package it all back up, you send it into them, they analyze your blood and they say, hey, your testosterone level's low, or this level's high, or that level's out of whack. They figure out exactly what's going on with your body, they get you a consultation with an actual doctor who says, this is what's going on, this is why you feel like this, this is why you feel like that, and most importantly, based off of the doctor's feedback, they then put together a supplement and a medication plan to make you feel better. And so you get delivered these supplements and medications every single month that increase your testosterone. They increase everything that needs to be bumped up, they help you get it up. Anything that needs to come down, they help you bring it down. These guys have got this figured out. And the best part is, let's say you're leery. You're not sure, you think this might be voodoo or it's not for you. Guys, it's $45 for the test. Literally 
$45 to figure out whether you can start feeling significantly better again or not. I'd say it's worth every single penny and I would encourage every single one of you to click the link in my description below, take the test, figure out where you're at, and if your levels are off, let's get those fixed and get your energy levels back up, get your sex drive back up, get you feeling better in the way that you're supposed to because I promise you, it is possible. I've been there, done that, and I mean, this is one thing that I can absolutely tell you. I 100% endorse this, and I think it's probably one of the most important things you'll ever do. So click the link in my description below and give Hone a try. Throughout this video, I'm gonna be uh, driving this truck, obviously, and just giving you guys some feedback. What I like, what I don't like, um, and why you should probably enter to win it. First stop today, like I said, is gonna be the gym. We're gonna go work out, and I've got some errands that I gotta run. Normally when I wake up, I'm not much of an early riser. I'm like uh, between seven and eight kind of guy. Uh, I'll wake up earlier if I have to, to catch a flight or for a meeting or something. But even then, I try to never schedule my first meeting until like after about 10.30. Round nine, that would be great. Just because uh, I like my mornings. My mornings are time where I can kind of like work on myself, work on not necessarily just myself, but things that I need to work on by myself rather than being surrounded by people. It's kind of my quiet time. Uh, I realize that's longer than most people's mornings. Most people's mornings probably like, you know, wake up at six and be done by eight, maybe. Uh, that's not the case with me. I wake up later because I go to bed a little bit later. If I don't get eight to nine hours of sleep, I'm kind of worthless. I want to introduce you to None other than my little brother Joe. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Top of the morning to you. What is this? This is uh, <laughs> this is everyone on the old internet. Oh, nice old internet. Uh, Hello. Yeah. Say hey, internet friends. We're about to make a stag film. A, a what? No, it's a joke. <laughs> hey man, is it good? Awake. No. <laughs> I have to shower on for an hour. <laughs> yeah, let's walk through what just happened. <laughs> I didn't Ooh. fall asleep till like an hour ago. I left the shower on and fell asleep for about an hour. Oh, we're not even late. We're not even late, coach. What are we doing? Are we just filming? Yeah, good thing I, I do. Good thing I, I do get to be late. Good thing I'm <laughs> So I'm here at the gym, which is actually my hangar. This is where I work out. Uh, I don't love going to a regular gym just because uh, well, there's a lot of distractions there. Uh, this gym, I've kind of just set up for Anybody to use, friends and family anyways. After I'm done working out, I'll usually come straight over here to the infrared sauna, which is awesome because you sweat like crazy in this thing. Those big infrared heaters turn on and uh, 30 minutes in there just is an absolute sweat fest. <laughs> Sauna session is over, workout's complete. As you can see, I'm an absolute sweaty mess, which is good because when you sweat in the infrared sauna, um, you sweat out tons of toxins and uh, heavy metals. So now it's time to drink a ton of water, electrolytes, take a shower and uh, start my work day. So here we go. Get a good video. How was it? Camelback sweat day, dude. My bandana kept me sustained throughout the entire workout. All right. My morning routine is done. I'm all showered up, ready to go to work. A lot of people notice that I wear uh, cut off shirts and some people think that I do it because I'm like trying to show off or look strong or anything. Believe it or not, that's not the reason why I do it. I do it because I happen to sweat significantly more than the average person. Um, I got really broad shoulders and no matter what size shirt I wear, I wear between an XL and a 2XL, it doesn't matter what size, it still kind of squeezes my shoulders and then the shirt pushing against my skin makes me tight and then I just like sweat like crazy. So I found that cutting my sleeves off, I don't pit out, I don't sweat nearly as bad. I still sweat a lot. You'll see like, I'm sure you guys have seen like all the footage of me sweating. Uh, my plan today was to kind of like self-document um, everything myself with the new GoPro 10, but two things, it just stopped working. Don't know why, battery's fully charged, but number two, I'm way less patient than I even thought I was. 
So to do all the little tasks and activities that I have to do today, plus turn on the camera and document it myself, I just, well, I'm gonna miss a lot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab Bad Boy. Bad Boy's gonna shadow me a little bit today. So uh, the rest of the angles that you'll see throughout the day will be probably from his camera. I will still do the selfie style here because I like it. I like to be able to talk to you and explain to you what's going on. Um, I know Diesel Dave is also documenting his day. So obviously we're gonna be cutting back and forth between my day, his day. Um, we're gonna work together at some point today. So I've got a lot to do today. So I gotta get straight to it. Um, my workout went a little long and I'm running a little bit late. So we're just gonna go straight to the office now. One pair of pants later. Computer, play pancake robot. Come on, Taylor. Come on, let's go. I need one more whisk. You gotta have one blue plate and you gotta have one pink plate. If not, you're gonna have a meltdown and it's really gonna ruin your day. We're saying definitively on camera, perfect. Perfect, well, that one's definitely perfect. Okay, robot, come and get them while they're hot. How should we drive there? Uh, Why should we take the Camino? Because it's super fast. All aboard. You're gonna wait here. I'll come back and pick up Alec. See you in a minute, America. Sorry, there's no room. Gotta go to school. I'm bad boy. You have no idea how bad I want to call you bad bitch every time I say bad boy. Ooh, look at this. You guys are getting a candid look at how Diesel Brothers, our Discovery Channel show, was made. We got the audio guy. Uh, what do you guys do? You guys be... Uh... Yeah, production assistant on Diesel Brothers. It's great. Executive producer. Executive producer-ish. Well, Whatever. I don't know the exact titles. These are the guys that make this shit happen. <laughs> Dunk Man, Josh, they're the guys. You got the camera crew over here. You got Plum Dog Millionaire. You got, uh, is that Wes over there? Yep. Wes, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what are we doing? Steering box from the Gamma Goat. Nice to yeah, meet yeah. you. It's gonna be really nice. Is it? Yeah. Smell it. It doesn't smell nice at all. <laughs> you can see they're filming that process for the show. Ooh, another treat for you guys. The, uh, can't tell you what's happening with this, but my baby, my five ton, I got a video coming out very soon within the next uh, well, few days, week or so. You guys are gonna really like what happens here. Huh, Hans? This is exciting. Are we putting a spare tire on? Oh, I don't know about that, probably. Is, is, that, is, there, is the truck gonna blow up out there? We're just gonna let us do it today. Are we having a runaway? And when it's done, we'll know. Then we go. Oh, so I didn't really tell you guys what's going on. Just got to the office, right? I got a bunch of emails to do. I got a bunch of phone calls I gotta do. But first, I gotta sell a hovercraft. Sold the hovercraft? Done. Gone. Really? Yeah. But we have to get it off the container. Did it go with the turbine engines that you bought for the hovercraft? I don't know, but they both did You bought itself. two turbine engines one day, at randomly, late at night. How about we, we show you what we got? Uh, this is a six by six that we're building for a client right now. Almost done, getting ready to deliver. That one's actually going overseas, which is pretty awesome. Like I said, it's time to sell a hovercraft. Hovercraft is already sold. Now we gotta figure out how to get it off the top of the Connex box. How did you sell the hovercraft? Like what? Does he know? I don't, I, I didn't sell it, somebody else sold it. Ron called me and he's like, hey, hovercraft sold. Get it off the container. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure whoever bought it might have looked at it. Yeah. So the, this is our boneyard. This is where, yeah, this is where Alec is gonna move. The story behind the stuff back here is, I probably saw it at some point on, on KSL or a classified site and I went out and bought it and had big grand plans for it and then didn't do anything with it. Why are you not cutting this up to I a am. pumpkin? No, it's for gonna Halloween? be a fire pit. No, no. I don't want to cut it to be a pumpkin. That's a lot of buoy to cut for just a pumpkin jump yeah, gag. Yeah, Let me tell you my gag. plan. In fact, if anybody's watching this that can help me with this, I want to turn this into a fire pit, a hanging fire pit that's a globe of the world. But we have to hand cut out the continents and stuff to make it look like a globe. So if anybody wants to come trace the globe and hand cut that out, come do it. Well, we're capable, we're just not that artistic. I think this was a lot messier uh, a couple months ago. A lot of this stuff is being sold and we also have a big auction coming up where we're selling a bunch of vehicles and a bunch of this stuff, so stay tuned for that. Hovercraft, right up there. Uh, we are definitely gonna need the boner bar. Boner bar is this guy, I'll show you. We have two of each though. Down a little bit. Well, that's gonna be an issue. 
this is like kind of where I draw the line of too much work for us to do for us to make it worth restoring. But it's going to a good home. I did lose a little bit of money on it, but not too concerned about that. That's done. I gotta go do some phone calls, some emails. I gotta film in a little bit. Today we also have to sell a couple of airplanes today. We also have a softball game tonight and there's still a significant amount of stuff. So what's great about the, the days of the week is you could actually move stuff to another day instead of trying to jam pack it on Monday. I you know? say, you know, the more the merrier. That's kind of like my motto. All right, let's do it. So there you have it. There's one task done. All right. First item of business here at the office is email. I'll bet I get a thousand emails a day, give or take. Uh, I don't respond to a thousand emails a day. I probably will respond to maybe 10 or 15 important ones right now. And then uh, I'll send a couple. And then I try to be in my office as little as possible. I just, I would rather be outside working or doing something cool. Also, this guy, look at that. Ha ha, one million subscribers. I'm pretty stoked on that. So anyways, I'm gonna do the boring stuff right now. Um, the paperwork, the office work. I'll look at my list of things I gotta do and then uh, we'll figure out where we're going next. Two very boring minutes later. Guys, I got great news. I didn't even know that this was happening today. We got, uh, what do we got going on, Chris? Carne asada, amigo. Carne asada? Sí. We got Taco Friday. Right. So it turns What's out- What's your name again? Don't ask them for shells. Don't say, where's this taco Pons? shells? Is it? No, it's my amigo Because Pancho. they get really weird. Turns out these are called- um, But you asked them for taco shells? I, like- I said, where's the shells? Like the like those ones? <laughs> yeah, that's- they don't do those. It turns out it was yeah. them. Look how pissed off they all are. I know. They haven't fucking since. <laughs> that went or no? I'll take uh -huh. you guys lasagna someday. <laughs> someday. Old ham thought they were out here making lasagna on the grill. <laughs> <laughs> Camino, ¿quién es? ¿Quién es hizo esto? Guacamole, lo acabo de hacer yo ahorita. ¿Tú? Acabo de hacer. ¿Está bueno o no? Ya. Ya me diste hambre. ¿Ya está? No, que vamos a comer. Wanna see something cool? Hey, who did it? And that's how you go to work in style. That door shut's really smooth still. <laughs> Happy birthday, Troncho! Yeah! How old are you? 17? 18? Two. Two? How many are you? Can you do it on your fingers? Can you show me? Can you go like this? Mommy. Oh, fine. I'll back up. Hey, man, we had a moment. We had a good moment. Hey, have a good one. Happy birthday to you when you're three. Shirts, shakers, cups. You probably don't want coffee yet. <laughs> it's got a straw in the top. Oh, look at that. What do you say? Thank you. You're so welcome. You guys want something else? Yeah. Yeah. Daddy was with a real spider. A real spider, yes, came and did, did them you? all. Oh, you got the skeleton back. Okay. It's really scary. It was huge. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have promise to have fun at the at the demolition derby, okay? Sure. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Be on my bed with if I make it back to California, then I'll be there. <laughs> For sure. Go find Bearded Batman. Thank you. I'm back. Thank you. Hey, will you take a picture of the whole family? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, got a couple. Awesome. awesome. There you are. Thank you. One last high five. One last high five. One last high five. See you later. Happy birthday. Say nice to meet you. Hey, see you guys. See you guys. So what happened there? Explain to us what, what happens in the life of Deesa Dave when hey, you meet somebody outside. Just don't uh, don't let Heavy D find out I gave away all of the tumblers <laughs> and my water bottles. You gave away a lot right there. That's One of those was $40. I'm going to be honest. That happens every time I go in the store. So I try my hardest to stay out of the store, but I still want to meet the people. But if it happens that I'm in the store with the people, I'm giving some stuff away. And up next, the daily COVID test. All right. Put it in there. Okay. All right, you have a good one, man. Have a good day. I gotta reach my hand in there, unplug it, and then won't get the the clogs. I consider myself an expert more, but sometimes I act like a novice. Mm -hmm. So you reach your big old hand, my dog gave you, in here, real deep black, and you just grab all them grass clippings. 
Nah, nobody put the pin underneath in a cycle pass. Where's that suit jacket? You don't have to need it, Dave. I just need your arm. It'll, 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 be, I gotta, okay. it'll be okay because I don't want it to fall out of the back. Okay, let me need me to get it. What am I doing? Uh, I'm putting my arm in the scene for Discovery Channel. You're doing because that? Because that's what I was doing. What should I do? My arm's going in as well. Am I standing? Do? Don't, don't yeah. take this from me. And I'm also watching the newest YouTube video from HD. It's all the us podcasts we're going to make with this footage. We're out here at the Jordan River track because today is the day. We've got Art Salinas, the winner of the TRX, coming out here to gaze upon his beautiful new truck for the first time. Go. Hard left. Under the hood. Stop recording. Yeah. Boom. So we were filming. We just filmed a, a great little segment explaining yeah. what was going on. Turns out we were on time lapse. Yeah. Hey, I'm hey. not a camera. Did I ever say I was a camera guy? Nope. You never did. But you were holding a camera. That implies camera that implies knowledge. That implies that I, there just, you go. I knew where the camera was. So. You want to do the wide or you want the two shot, the one shot? As you can see. I'll get the two shot. Diesel Dave and I's days have intersected. He's doing his own thing. I was doing my own thing. My emails and phone calls and the boring stuff took way longer than I expected. However, I was able to break away for some wonderful tacos over by the paint booth, which is a, just a total treat. I think I have a trademark already, actually. We should be good. So now, now here's the plan. Um, I have some honeydews that I'm supposed to be doing today. I have a big day. I, I still have to, we gotta shoot some ads. I have to sell my airplanes. I got a couple airplanes I'm selling today. I have to um, get some water to the top of the hill by my house because apparently my dog is dying of thirst when my wife goes on hikes and it's like a critical issue. So that's what we're gonna do right now because I just got a hold of a lady in Salt Lake who's got big four big water tanks that we're gonna go fill up with water, take them to the top of the hill. It's like kind of logistically challenging. You may think like, oh, why don't you just run a hose and put a water bowl up there? Well, the problem is my dog is 200 pounds. He drinks a lot of water. It's kind of far up the hill from my house. So what we need is, well, I have a tote up there and it's a 250 gallon tote. Zion drank all the water up there. It was a leftover tote from the uh, cauldron hot tub, actually. Oh, I, this whole time you've been telling me, I thought he was actually getting in the cauldron and drinking the water that I bathed in. Nope. Yeah, that's... Nope, cauldron's behind the shop. It's fine. It, it was just one extra months. tote. Yeah. So we got to go get some water totes, <laughs> put them in the back of a truck, fill them with water, take them to the top of the hill, because that's a critical issue, because I'm leaving town either tonight or tomorrow morning, and apparently this needs to be done before I leave. You let me know, because I'm supposed to take my wife on a date tonight, and I'm probably leaving town with you. Yeah. We should decide that sometime. We should make that <laughs> decision. I always get rid of so, as you can see, um, my day is pretty diverse, you know, starting off by working out and then going to do a bunch of work and then doing some personal tasks and then I got to go back to work and then I got to do some more personal tasks and then I think we got to do some more work. So it kind of like alternates back and forth, but right now... I don't even know if you realize how many tasks you have because I haven't told you about all your tasks yet. Oh, I have more tasks? Yeah. Oh, well, I guess we'll that bridge when you get there. I will tell you this though, I love this truck. All right, you get to pick one superhero power. What do you pick? And let me mind you, you get one power. I learned today that if you want the power of flight to fly like Superman, you're gonna need not only flight, but you're gonna need super speed, you're gonna need durability and flight. So you need all three of those powers in order to fly like Superman. If you just get flight, I guess you float like a balloon. wants to know is how do you find this this isn't this isn't I don't ask you how you named your kids I don't You're not a real friend then I don't need to know oh. they're great names it's great music it doesn't matter I just I think that's the question that mark everybody has I actually had a dream last night about Tesla no I don't want to <laughs> Now, it might not be flight, it might be something that might be x-ray vision. You know, this is getting complicated. Let's go, this is like level three stuff. Let's start on level one. Today's his birthday? Today's his birthday. Happy birthday, little That's bitch. fine. Windows, you got any spare change? <laughs> no, sorry, I'm good, change? no, I'm good. I'm good, thank you. You got eggs? Hey, do you have any, do you have any flowers? That's yeah, a free range eggs. I'm hey. good, no. I'm sure no, eggs are good for like a couple bad. weeks. Eggs do go bad. I'm pretty sure Take eggs go bad. Take it easy, bad boy. How do eggs go bad? Because they, uh, they don't get any the bad oxygen. Boy, I think I know when things go bad. There's that's movies true. about rotten eggs. No, that's different. It's rotting eggs. But how do they rot? That's when they go bad. Uh, imps. What does that mean? Gargoyles. 
What's that? Happening? Uh, they, we, we they go down to your house and make yep. your eggs batter. We took a hard turn back there. We did. Avocado oil on the bottom of those bad boys. Your, your dog's gonna turn into it. Came strapless. Good way to dump them out. What do you guys do? Just YouTube. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, this is a monster truck. Yeah, it is. We do trucks too. That's part of our business. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Hey, you. You like that truck my friend's talking about? Oh, Silverback? You know, this truck right here? <laughs> well, what if I told you that just for watching this video, I'm going to give you a 10 times better chance of winning? That's right. If you go to decentpowergear.com right now, 10 times the entries, which is going to give you a 10 times better chance of being the winner of old Silverback here. Every $5 you spend is no longer worth just one entry, my friends. It's worth 10. Go to decentpowergear.com. Thanks for watching the YouTube. Thanks for the support. And for that, you are going to get 10 times better chance of being the winner. It's a nice looking truck. All right, guys, uh, just pick up our water tanks. I realize that this is such a small, dumb, weird little task, but believe it or not, we have a lot of people that want to see the inner workings of our daily lives, which is, this is one of them, picking up water tanks full of agave oil to keep our dogs hydrated while our wives go on hikes. This right here, guys, is my hangar door. It's a massive hangar door. Right there is where the motor goes. As you can see, the motor's no longer there because the motor blew up. So I don't think the apple juice bottle is going to do it. Um, and <laughs> re it, man. More thinking about it. <laughs> rebuilt motors three weeks out, new motors six weeks out. If I can't get this door open, I can't get any of this stuff out, which is why this is such a mess. So that plane right there, our Epic, needs to get out because it's uh, taking us to California tonight at 8 o'clock. If this door is open. So I have an idea. We... Jimmy rigged this uh, little adapter thing, right? On a Milwaukee drill. Have not yet tried it, which we're about to try right now. If this fits, in theory, open the door, but <laughs> that's assuming the drill has enough huevos to be able to do that. The only fine. thing I'm worried about is somebody has to be able to hold the drill as it goes all the way up. So we're gonna have to get a ladder here in a minute. Come on, baby. Working. Don't bring up another man's Relief Society arm. A what? You don't bring up another man's Relief Society arm. Just rude. Yeah, no, you don't do that. Bitch. You do it, Mr. Yeah. Jiggle Arms. Come on, pull your sleeves up. Yep, sleeves up. No flexing either. Take your shirt off. <laughs> this sounds more like a. Come on. Like a. Come on, hands. No, don't stick your arms. Oh, oh, look at the Relief Society arms. Yeah, what's it to you? Very well. This is. What do you got? Like, eczema there? Eczema? <laughs> yeah. Who calls it eczema? Hey, get grease on your shirt. I got a ladder, guys. Why? Hey, how much how is it? Batteries? How much is it if that breaks? Fine commercial? No, because he's wanting everyone to go tonight. All right, uh, hangar door is open. Yeah, I need a little bit more. Water tank is just about full. So I think what we're gonna do right now, should we start moving stuff out or go feed the dog? You guys can go feed the dog. I can move the stuff. Dog. Let's go out of the dog. Let's go out of the dog? Yeah. Look at that. Good Divide ahead. and conquer, guys. Old Hansel is gonna do what he does best, which is the old hangar shuffle, uh, which I actually despise. Do you what's do a it? dance while you do it? What's weird is- he does, it, he does this, I've seen him. I came here one time and he's going like this. The hangar shuffle, nice. Hey, you're coming I'm out. I'm just throwing the wrong out. key in the wrong vehicle every time. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Bo and Bo and Mac's favorite activity. Oh, holy shit. This just reminded me. What? Dude. Hey, guess what? Oh, holy shit, I forgot about this. Dude, are you ready for this? Hands, the most loyal, the most efficient, <laughs> the most aggressive, and the most passionate assistant a guy could ask for had a birthday. How old did you turn? 30, man. Big old 3-0. It's a big year, right? It is. Dirty, dirty. If you only live to be 60, then you're already halfway through life. I don't want to talk about it. If you only live to 31, As I'm you're sitting on, on this bike. <laughs> this is a good point. Hey, come here. We're going to get pants before it's your first birthday. Really? Yeah. That's pretty sick. Should we just pull the key out and hand it to him? Yeah. I forgot because I was going to get a giant bow, but I totally forgot. <laughs> Hans' birthday was at the end of July, first. and I wanted to give him this uh, present back then. 
but we don't been, start the hanger shuffle yet. We've been busy, so hands works his ass off. So what are we gonna do? Nobody works harder than hands. We're gonna surprise the get out of him right now. I hope he cries. I think he's gonna cry. I don't take him as a cry, but I would love to see him cry. Okay, let's see what happens. Hands. What? Hands. I don't know if I trust any of you guys. Hey man, it's your birthday. Well, it was your birthday, let's like pretend, seven months let's ago. Let's pretend like it was now. And for your birthday, I just wanted to let you know you're fired. Okay. Better luck next year. Okay. And then as your, Who, as, your, as, your no. as your severance, as your severance gift, I would like to offer you. That's not that machine, though. That's There's that no machine. way. That's that machine right there. There's no way. In the Hop on in, big guy. What's the what's the catch? No, there's got to be a catch. There's no way. The catch is when you turn 31, it's probably not going to be this size. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, catch, the catch is your next birthday is going to suck <laughs> yeah. compared to this birthday. I feel like this is a trap. Hands, you want me to do how I do it when I do the giveaway? You just got the razor! Get in! Yeah! I don't, I, there has to be a catch. Look, man, you got a family of four. What's better for a family of four than a four seat Razor Pro. You're so, driving this bad bitch home tonight. Get for reals? Yes, I'm for real. for reals, man, happy birthday. I remembered that I was gonna try to get him a giant bow for this, which I forgot to do. And then as I said bow, it jogged my memory, and then there, here we are. Holy shit, it is, man. Phil, I just, I don't know what to Look, believe, man. Hey. Brand new Polaris Razor Pro Turbo. These things, this is like the ultimate, it's actually called the ultimate. This machine is bad to the bone. Bro, well, thanks, man. Birthday, I'll man. give you a hug. Man. Oh, 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 the first hug. That's his hands is voluntarily given to anybody. For real. I Just so we're on the same page. That's hug. the first hug Hands has ever voluntarily given to anybody. Hands hates hugs. I really do. You notice how quick it was? It was a quick hug. He got it over with pretty quick, which is fine. I'm like sweating, man. I don't, I just, a lot I don't of body know. contact. Listen, They've hugged two men today. you subscribers aren't the only ones who win my machines. If you work hard, you pay your dues, you're loyal, and you kick ass like hands, well, guess what? You get one of these. That's all it takes. But it's hard work. You wanna get that agave out first? Nope. Okay, so we are in my driveway, and we are getting ready to take the water way up there. It's probably roughly a, it's called a five to 700 foot climb up the mountain. It's pretty straight up. So what we're gonna do, to show you the capabilities of this beautiful diesel powered gear giveaway truck, is diesel little Dave is gonna jump in my Ranger uh -huh. with bad boy in the back filming as we haul 2,260 pounds of water up this hill. You guys are gonna see the capabilities of this truck. Cause a lot of people look at this truck and they're like, oh, it's got big wheels, big tires, it can't do anything. Well, I disagree. Bet. Bet. I was about bet. to say that. Yep. Ready? You wanna try it again? You wanna, you wanna say that this time? Bet. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> climbing an extremely steep hill in my backyard in the diesel power gear give, uh, giveaway truck with about 2,500 pounds of water in the bed of the truck, which is not a small uh, task. In fact, I believe a one ton truck, which is what this is, is technically rated for about one ton in the bed. So we are obviously, uh, if that's how the ratings still work. That's how they used to work. I don't know if that's how they still work, but currently, uh, no problem. Keep in mind, this is a hill that my five ton army trucks kind of struggled going up. And this Duramax is like, nah, I'm good. There you go. Two inch hose is gonna drain this thing much faster than a uh, garden hose. Hey, did you do it? It is done, babe. <sighs> Thank you. Your dog will no longer be dehydrated and you can go oh, on hikes now. Oh, thanks, babe. All right, we're gonna pop in on the old wifey and uh, family here. Uh, one of two things is about to happen. Well, probably both. Ashley's gonna freak out because the house isn't perfect because she's a perfectionist. And Zion's probably gonna eat, try to eat bad boys, so this will be good. Excuse me, sir. Do you know where Zion is? Where is he? Can I have a high five? Are you withholding information from hi, me? Buddy. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. This is my son, Bo, by the way. Bo, say hi. Hi. Say hi to the camera. 
Look who it is. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hi. This is the moment where we find out whether he bites Hi, everybody buddy. or not. Hi. The way we've trained him is we have to introduce him to people. Otherwise, he will rip your face off. Um, and that's not a joke. Like, we've had people come to the door that he's tried to jump for. But luckily, he knows Dave. He's still a little reluctant, as you can see. I don't think he's even recognized Bad Boy yet. Um, he's like, I'm going to eat the guy behind you. Yeah, he's that guy. Seconds. Look how tense he is. Hey, see, see how his hair is all stood up? Good boy. That is crazy. Look at his hair. Hey, Mackie. Macaroo. <laughs> Water tank's full. Love you. Thanks, babe. Are you coming I'm to California so or not? I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Talk about it. <laughs> I Great. think so. Hammer. I just woke up from a nap, I'll be honest. Hot dog. Corn dog. French fries. Uh, waffle. <laughs> what else? Taco. Oh, pizza. Mm. You gonna do tacos? <laughs> Taco. Love you. Oh, I do bark box. Final item of business today for me is I gotta go sell a couple of airplanes. I gotta take my wife on a date. You gotta take your wife on a date. I gotta return a camera. Let's get out of here. Ready? Here. This is it then. You're not gonna watch the date? All right, guys, well, the buyer of my airplanes pushed back until Monday because of a paperwork issue. So that's it. That's a standard Friday for Heavy D and Diesel Dave. So as you guys can see, our days are quite diverse. Um, like I said, this is a Friday, so it's a little bit more laid back. Uh, no Discovery film. Did you just film uh -huh. Discovery today? Yep. Diesel Dave films with Discovery pretty much every day of the week. I kind of only set aside two days a week simply because I'm so damn busy and I got other stuff I got to tend to. Whereas Diesel Dave is, uh, well, he's better on camera than I am and they use him a lot it's more than I It's just because I'm better looking. That's the only reason. That's the only reason. All right, so water tank is done. You got all your stuff done. You yes, get ready sir. to head on a date. So I got to go do a couple more things and then after your date, I'll see you at softball. Sounds good, buddy. All right, brother. Later, homie. Thanks for the ride. <clears throat> Than we have in any game all season. Pedro Martinez that we were batting against. Taken by the wind. Did you watch that? Hit his ball went. Way foul to. Was it Pedro Martinez that we were batting against in celebrity softball? Yeah. And they don't. So that's it. That is a day in our life. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was very uh, raw, rough around the edges, which is the way we meant it to be. Wanted to show you guys like just the real us. What an actual day in our life looks like. This is hard well, to say. Sucks. That. My life sucks? Yeah. I don't think so. I just, it's not sucks. Sucks in word. Your life's stressful. The razor keys. Your life's stressful. The razor keys. I knew it. I knew <laughs> something would happen and I'd have to come back. Talk about my life. <laughs> my life is stressful. stressful. It's extremely That's stressful. I got a lot of people that rely on me. I got a lot of things that I have to do all the time. You got a big dog? I got a big dog Dong. that always tries to kill people. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, let me know. Drop a comment below. Let me know what your average day looks like. What do you do? Sun up to sundown. I would love to know. And uh, make sure you're subscribed because we're giving away a lot of shit. As you saw, we just uh, picked our 1 million subscriber giveaway and we're just about to uh, 1.25 million, which means another giveaway, which means I'm giving away another one of my machines, which I'm starting to be like, oops, <laughs> I'm giving away too much stuff. <laughs> I'm literally gonna be empty handed here. But anyway, guys, 
Thank you. I love you. And uh, stay tuned.